quick shot of the Baltimore National Aquarium. I had the opportunity to visit it. And here is the sharks area of that aquarium. Throughout this video, I'll have a couple photos and introducing three new products for the first time to my mixed reef. Here's a wide angle shot of the overall reef. No new corals, no new livestock. Baltimore Aquarium, another shot of the Baltimore Aquarium and more of a wide shot here. And back to the mixed reef. Um, the red Garnier Pour is doing well. Uh, the AcuPower is definitely helping. I'm dosing 15 milliliters per day. I will be adding some Bengay Cardinals. Um, I saw these at the Baltimore Aquarium. Definitely looking forward to adding new fish. I will probably uh, almost double the population. I'm a little leery of adding fish because of the different uh, diseases that may or may not come in on the fish. The existing angel, dwarf angel fish are doing well. You just saw the flame angel there. I also have a coral beauty and a flame back and the yellow tang is doing well. On to the three new products, uh, Sea Kim Fuel, um, AccuPower, and the New Life Spectrum Algae Max are three new products that I recently started dosing. Um, I've never used them before. Uh, I've been in reefing for about almost four and a half years, going on five years. And this is my first time using these three products. I'm also looking into dosing vitamin C. Um, the Skittles are for me and the vitamin C is for me, but it is something I'm thinking about adding. Um, until I get Skittles in my tank, I will have the next best thing. close-up shot of the tank mainly here the wild bubble coral and the um, torch coral added the recordia mushroom next to the torch coral and the zoa seemed to be the key to keeping the wild bubble coral in check thanks for watching and until next time welcome new subscribers